Well, good day, everybody. My name is David Clark from the United Kingdom. Our ten people that have come today have come from Mountain Lupa City Jail. You may know that this is one of the most notorious jails in the Far East. And maybe some of you guys are bound to go there. You may have heard of some terrible things that happened there. And some of the things are probably true. But we have come to tell you if you go there, there are many good men there to help you. And one of the men here is Pollock, Dr. Pollock we call him, who's just spoken to you. He was sentenced to a life imprisonment for homicide and robbery. And he did 14 years in New Bidden in prison. And after five years in that prison, having a very bad time, learning to survive by his own wits, the Lord Jesus came to help him. And he learned the good news of the gospel from the good men that are in New Bidden in prison, from the Christian workers that go there. And William Pollock learned who Jesus is. He was baptized and followed Jesus and is now a preacher of the gospel. And that is why he's here. He's come to share with you the way of salvation. Now in one sense, we that have come to you are no ordinary men. But in another, in another sense, we're just ordinary people. We're no ordinary men in this sense. Myself, Pollock, some of the men here, we're four criminals. So we're no better than you. Some of our crimes may be worse than yours. But we extend our hand to friendship to you. We welcome you. We come to say hello, friends. And we come to share with you the good news that God wants to save you. That God wants to give you courage. He wants to make you noble men. He wants to make you strong so that you can help the weak. I don't know your crimes, but if you're a terrorist, you've learned a way of life that others don't know yet. But we want to turn your lives around so you can help the young people not to go the bad way. Now, we published a book called Trojan Warriors. If you notice the testimony of Dr. Pollock, that was published on the 9th of September 2001. This book, Trojan Warriors, was published on the 11th of September 2002. The significance is this. On September 11, 2002, terrorists flew aircrafts into the Twin Towers in New, in New York. The terrorists were moved by the same spirit of you guys. And we have come to show you a more clear way. We have learned this. That if we educate a car thief, he will use his education to steal an aircraft. And then he'll fly his aircraft in the Twin Towers. Now, we don't want to do that, do we? We'd be crazy to do that, wouldn't we? But we do know this. If you are a criminal, you are very intelligent. And to help you get on in the world, we want to give you an education. Because if you educate a reformed man, he can be a leader of men, a teacher of good things, a teacher of righteous things. And my Jesus wants to make you men preachers of the gospel. For the good news of Jesus Christ delivers them.